I went out yesterday to Lake Levon to do a test between my 7D and my 5D Mark III. I've always wondered what is the big difference using the same lens on the two different cameras at the same point. So on my test, I set up both cameras with my 24 to 70 and my 70 to 200 lens. So what I decided to do was to shoot both of them from the same exact spot at pretty much the exact same time uh, with obviously a few, a minute or two in between. But I shot at 24, at 50, and at 70 millimeters on the 24 to 70. And then on the 70 to 200 lens, I shot at 100, 150, and 200 on both cameras to see what the difference was. The 7D is a crop factor camera of 1.6, and of course the full frame is full frame. So just as I would expect, the results should be that on the 5D Mark III, I would get a wider picture, and then on the 7D, I would get a longer, that is more zoomed out picture. The settings for these cameras was the same, aperture priority, uh, all shot at 2.8, ISO was 100, um, so everything was exactly the same as I could make it on both cameras shot from the same tripod. So with that, let's look at each picture. This image was shot with the 5D Mark III at 24 millimeter. As expected, it is a much wider shot. Take a look at the bridge and the columns are holding it up and you will notice that it is much wider than what was shot on the previous picture with the 7D. This image was shot with the 7D at 50 millimeter. Notice how much closer the tree is coming into view already. We are well away from the bridge and out into the shady spots, so it's something to think about. Image, this image was shot with the 5D Mark III at 50 millimeter. Notice the difference between this picture and the last one, how much further the tree is still in the water. And again, it's because this, of course, is a full frame camera, which does not go out as far. Here is the 7D at 70 millimeter. You can see how much closer into view this image is versus what's coming up for the 5D. The difference, I think, is quite remarkable. Here is the 5D Mark III at 70 millimeter. Notice the difference from the 7D. Yes, this looks closer to the 50 millimeter on the 7D, yet we are at 70 on the full frame camera. This image is from the 7D at 100 millimeter. As you can see, it almost fills the frame from the water line on up to the top of the tree. So this is actually pretty amazing from where I was standing at 100 millimeter. Here is the 5D Mark III at 100 millimeter. Look at how far out we still are. I have more land in the forefront here, in the foreground. There's plenty of sky above the tree, whereas on the 7D, you saw the difference. It's quite staggering. Here is the 7D at 150 millimeter. Notice how the top of the tree is completely gone. So is the ground, and in fact, we're down to the bottom of the Y branch on that tree. Here is the 5D at 150 millimeter, and you can see we still have plenty of foreground and plenty of ground at the top that you can see that the, even the top branch is not yet cut off. So it's quite staggering the difference between the 7D and the 5D here. Here is the 7D at 200 millimeter as far as we go out. Look how much of the tree is chopped off and how much water there is that's left. So when you see the last picture coming up, it should amaze you. 
in this final image of the 5D at 200 millimeters, you can still see the complete Y at the top of the tree. You can still see all of the water and some of the ground, which obviously you couldn't see any of that in the 7D picture. So this concludes my test of the crop sensor in the full frame. And as you can see, to me anyway, the results are quite staggering. So to me, if you want to shoot landscapes, shoot it with the full frame because you'll get a wider picture and you always want more in there. If you're out shooting wildlife or something far away that you're trying to isolate, then I think that the crop sensor is the way to go. So I hope this test has somehow helped you as it has helped me and helped explain the whole difference between the crop and the full frame. Hope you leave me some comments. Take care and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank <laughs> you.